good morning happy sunday y'all how y'all doing on this beautiful day that the lord has made how are y'all doing well happy monday since y'all getting this video today or y'all may be getting this video tuesday because yeah i can be a little late putting some things up but anyway however y'all get this video how y'all doing good morning <laughs> good morning my sisters and my brothers how y'all doing babes Y'all doing all right this morning? I'm finally able to talk to y'all while I'm getting myself ready this morning, y'all. Even though, girl, it's almost 8.20. 8.20, and I got up. Time I get up. I think I got up. Yeah, I got up early, around about 7. Around about 7 something, went in prayer. By the time I got done praying, child, it was like 7, maybe 7.20 or 7.30. So, got up, put my dress on, washed my face, brushed my teeth. And I, I just feel like I'm still pushing for time. It took me a minute to put my wig on. <laughs> took me a minute to get these curls together. And, um, and I'm still trying to get them together, y'all. Because this hair, like I said, this hair can be kind of dry. And this is my other wig, by the way. I got two wigs like this, y'all. I got a, I got one that's long, which y'all saw me in that one. And I got this one here, which is a short, shorter one. And I have to tame these curls so they can look right. So they won't be looking so dry. But anyways, I'm up trying to get myself ready and together, babies. I still got a... Uh, I still got to put my makeup on my face and wear on the rest of my jewelry. And I'm pushing, I'm pushing, y'all, I'm pushing. Jamalia, she just like got up. I just woke up around about maybe five minutes ago. I just woke up. Oh, Lord Jesus. I thank you. For giving me another day, Lord, I thank you. I don't know why I feel like it's kind of it's kind of dark in here. It may not be dark on y'all end, but I can barely see, child. I can barely see. I'm gonna have to flatten my wig some more on the side. Where it's coming up at. Got my spray. Where is it coming up? Mm -hmm. Child, I must be going crazy. So y'all getting y'all still ready for church this morning. I think I want to pin this up some kind of way. Okay, let me see here. Let me see, because the way this hair rolling seem like you don't want to act right this morning <laughs> and I'm trying to pin it up y'all the best way I know how but sometimes this this curly hair it can be too much in your face and I don't like all it I don't like all that extra hair in my face so I try to pin it up some kind of way It's so pretty outside, y'all. Even though I ain't even opened up my back door, child. I just feel like it's just pretty outside because I can see the sun through my window. So I just feel like it's real pretty outside today. I got to get my grass cut, child. My grass and grew back. I got to get it cut again. Oh, Lord Jesus. I 
find my little cramp one. I'm sorry I'm all over the place this morning. <laughs> I'm just all over the place this morning. Trying to find what I need, y'all. And I can't find it. I'm gonna have to pick this thing up because I can't find what I'm looking for. I need my little um, my little clear little clamp. And I do not see it. Thank y'all again, everybody, for wishing me a happy birthday. I really do appreciate y'all. Just for telling Candy Poo happy birthday to you. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so, so, so very much. <laughs> I really do appreciate that. And congratulations to one of my subscribers. She says she is getting married to the bishop. All right then, baby doll. Congratulations. I am so excited and happy for you. I am, baby. I am so happy for you. Congratulations. And I pray the Lord blesses y'all union every year. Every single year. I pray that the good Lord, that the good Lord blesses y'all's union yes lord it is a blessing to get married to your ordained husband from the lord it's such a blessing that's why candy poo is waiting on her bow ass i'm waiting on my bow ass y'all i know he on the way i know he is on the way and i shall wait patiently on him Praise God. Praise God. And some things that the Lord has shown me in the spirit. Ooh, baby dolls, baby dolls. Mm. Ooh, eyes haven't seen and ears haven't heard. <laughs> I'm just happy and excited for what the Lord has for me. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so happy and excited for what the Lord has for me, y'all. And I shall wait. I shall wait on the Lord. And as I wait, I shall praise Him, worship, sing my songs. Hallelujah. <laughs> and I shall glorify His name. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Y'all, I put on my... um. My Louis Vuitton, cute little studs. I just threw them on. I got to put on my uh, makeup. I was going to turn this hot comb on, but I ain't got time. I really don't have time to be trying to flatten them right now. I'm throw my shoes on. I'm going to do my white, uh, my little white cardigan jacket with this dress. And this dress, y'all, cute. I feel like it's it's short when I sit down though. Like when I'm sitting down now, I feel like it's it's kind of it's too short for me. And I don't like that. So eventually I'm gonna have to keep pulling it down. Every time I stand up and sit down, I'm gonna have to keep pulling it and I don't like doing it in church. I do not like doing it. So this dress, I'm probably not gonna wear it no more, y'all. I'm not gonna wear it no more. I don't have time to to take it off and change it. So, I'm probably just not going. I ain't going to wear it no more. I need to hurry up. It's almost 8.40. And I normally leave at 9 o'clock. So, I ain't got that much time.
Somebody asked me in my comment section how I lay my wigs, which I get this question all the time. I get this question all the time. And um, I've did several videos and I know some of y'all are like newcomers coming to my channel. And y'all may not have seen me lay my wigs and stuff. So for those that are new, they'll be asking me, how do I lay my wigs? I'm going to tell y'all this. I have so many videos to where I have went in detail laying my wig and putting on my wig. I have videos on my hair channel and I have some videos over here to when I lay and put my wigs on just, you know, by me getting myself ready for church. But um, y'all can go back on those videos and watch me lay my wig, child. Because I have several videos. I mean, several videos laying my wigs. Now, I don't always do it all the time on this channel. And I don't really do it on my other channel all the time either. But I do have old videos that I've already laid my wigs. Where I've already put wigs on and shared with y'all. Um, shared with y'all in full detail from start to finish. How I put my wigs on. And um, if you are a new beginner of putting your wig on and trying to lay it down good. Sister baby doll. <laughs> And yes, I said, sister baby doll, you're going to have to pray and ask the Lord to bless your hands and get on YouTube and watch a couple of gurus, ladies' wigs, because that's what I had to do when I was a beginner. Child, I was watching a couple of gurus because I knew in my heart that I wanted to lay um, wigs the right way, even when I... Even when I didn't know how to do it, I always wanted to learn how to do it. And um, I used to get on YouTube and I used to watch a whole lot of gurus. A whole lot of wig gurus that be slaying. I mean, child, when they used to put their wigs on, they used to be slaying these wigs, baby dolls. And I used to be like, now when I put my wig on, it don't look like that. <laughs> she do that and how she do this and that so baby doll when I tell you when Candy Pooh go in prayer and she asked the Lord to help her do something hmm, you best believe he gonna show me how to do it and I guarantee you if he showed me how to do it he can show you how to do it too baby he can show you how to do it too so don't get discouraged now cause you don't know how to put your wig on <laughs> Just keep on practicing and keep on watching these gurus and stuff. Even me, because you can get on my channel and watch me and see how I started and how I began to get used to it and laying these baby hairs and laying this, this lace correctly. Because, baby, I'm going to tell you something. My wigs used to be too far back on my head, baby. And I ain't ashamed to say it. Y'all know I got a big head, okay? These baby hairs used to not be correct. They used to be thick. They used to be dramatic. But thank God. I got it together, sisters. <laughs> I got it together, sisters. Y'all hear me? I got it together. And now that I know how to lay my wigs, I just put these bad boys on. I lay them. I may struggle sometimes with my baby hairs, but I get them. I get them right. I get them right. And you know what? If something ain't looking too hot, I'm either going to do it over or I'm going to take the whole wig off and put me on another whole wig. <laughs> I'm just saying, baby, this is just how it is. Let me put my jacket on. I'm gonna put my white, my white blazer on, y'all. I'm gonna throw this on right here. I think this will be cute. I'm sorry that this camera is dark. There we go. Yuma, we're just like this here. I think this white blazer goes perfectly with this dress. And I think I'm gonna wear my white. I took my white um my my uh, white lace up sandal heels out. And I got two different. I have two different ones. And um I think I'm gonna wear these right here. 
because I had some on my birthday. But those are the ones that they kind of, I ain't going to say they hard to put on. But the way that they're made, it's like you struggle putting them on. <laughs> so these right here, these are more, I ain't got to do too much putting these on. So I guess I'm going to rock with these today. And they ain't too high either. I think my other ones are higher than these right here. Yeah, these are do. They just feel like they loose on my feet for some reason. I gotta get these bad boys tight. I guess that I do. Y'all know once I get to church, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all my whole outfit once I get to the church house. And I think I'm gonna tote my uh, I'm gonna tote my white Chanel bag. I'm gonna tote that one this morning. <laughs> Granny gave me some some more food yesterday my mama brought it over here yesterday y'all she brought she uh brought me a uh a bag of food yesterday and um uh, i still got stuff in there sitting on my table that i couldn't even put in my refrigerator y'all <laughs> i couldn't even put it in my refrigerator i just i just left it on the table baby dolls Okay, I'm gonna throw on me some perfume. So I can get ready to get myself up out of here. To find me some, oop, some flats to put on. Oh, y'all. I be trying to hold, I be trying to hold everything and can't because I got this camera in my hand. I'm going to let y'all see my new comforter that my mama got me. My bed ain't made up right now, child, so I ain't going to show y'all yet. <laughs> Once I, uh, let me sit y'all right here for a minute. Oh, ooh, girl, this camera, there we go. Once I make my bed up, I'm going to show y'all the comforter that my mama got me for Mother's Day. She ordered it offline. And I specifically told her that I wanted the same one that she had in her guest room, but I wanted it in white. And she ordered it for me. And my bed looks so much better. I'm so happy that that other confidence took off my bed, girl. Because that one, I had a time with that one, babies. I had a time with that one. My son bought me a wig for my birthday. I'm going to show y'all the wig Marquise got for me <laughs> for my birthday. I ain't talking about the one I had on now. Because I had a burgundy one on for my birthday. That's the one that I ordered for myself. And I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all that wig too. I'm going to show y'all the name of it. Just in case. If one of y'all wanted to order that one. That one is not real high at all. It's kind of. It's, it's a reasonable price. And I ordered, I think I paid like maybe $47 for it, if I'm not mistaken. I think, child. I don't know. Hmm. I'm trying to see what I'm going to throw on today. Oh, let's see. What is this here? Hmm. I think I want to throw on my, um, let me smell this. This is my Chloe. This smell good. I'm a, I think I'm going to wear my Chloe, y'all. This smell real good by Estee Lauder. Wait a minute. Let me see. Yeah, this is by Estee Lauder. This smell real, real good. This is the bag that I'm toting. My white and gold Chanel. Oh, let me get my glasses. I'm still in here. Okay, I guess I'll wear these today. All right, and my friend.
friends. I'm finna get ready to get up out of here. I'll go see if Jamai is. Let's see if she ready. Put my glasses on real quick. I hope my concealer don't look too bright up under my eyes because I didn't try to tone nothing down. Hmm. Yeah. All right, y'all. Let's sit y'all right here for a minute. I'm going to have to go get me some flats because y'all know when I get to church, I have to... I have to come up out of these shoes, baby, because I can't, I can't stand in them for a long period of time in church and get my praise on. Mm -mm. That's not going to work because sister feet be hurting. <laughs> my feet be hurting. Oh. Gonna have to get up, baby doll. Come on, I'm finna go. Yeah, Jamaya, she some ill. She'll put her clothes on. And she'll get right back in the bed. <laughs> I'm trying to find my my uh my little glass cleaner. Here we go. Yeah, that poor child, she will literally. Oh girl, I ain't gonna, I'm about to sit y'all right there for a minute. But she'll literally get up and put her clothes on. And she'll get right back in the bed. Ooh, this camera dog. There we go. All right, I guess I'm good to go, babies. I'm gonna throw on my lip. I should be, I should be good. All right, my friends, I am finna be headed off. I'm finna be headed off. I'm gonna go grab my slides too far I forget because I'm talking to y'all and I'm constantly going back and forth and I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. But I'm gonna see y'all as soon as I make it to the church house. Okay? Thank you, Jesus, for this beautiful weather. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Ooh, I hope I can walk in these shoes, girl, because I'm going to pull them off as soon as I walk up in this building and sit down. They coming off. <laughs> they are coming off. Oh, Lord. Sit y'all right there for a second. I'm sure I got it. Come on, Jemaya. Y'all, it's a pack house this morning, babies. All of the lights are full this morning. Right, so this is my Sunday look for this morning. These are my other white heels, lace up heels, y'all. They're not the same ones that I had on for my birthday. This is my quick little fit for church. <laughs> so y'all enjoy the service, babies.
glory. By Christ Jesus, you send your word, beloved, I wish above all, that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prosper. God, the concern about us spiritually, physically, mentally, and financially, Lord. Meet every need in here today, God. In the name of Jesus, look on your people everywhere, God. Yes, Lord. Look on every unsaved member, a family member right now, Father. In the name of Jesus, let the, let the weak sound strong. Yeah, God, and let the strong sound got strength today. In the name of Jesus, let everyone say, I got the victory today. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We ask you to touch our pastor today, God. Give him an anointing that he's never had before, Lord. Let him preach God. Oh, God, let him preach out of oh, God out of himself today, Lord. In the name of Jesus, oh, God. And we're going to come to you and bless your name, Lord. Look over his family right now, Father. And look over every family that's gathered here today, Lord. Look over everybody, God. In the name of Jesus, God, we pray, oh, God, for those situations that's going on in Israel, oh, God. For you told us to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. So we're going to come we're going to go at your commandments right now, God. In the name of Jesus, son. We're going to do it, Father, for your glory. And we're going to continue to bless your name, God. In the name of Jesus, son. And God, will be ever thankful. We'll be ever grateful for all that you do. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Thank God and amen.
And thank you, Lord, because the anointing of God destroys every mood. We thank you for hearing our cry, hearing our groan, and meeting our need. And we thank you for the power that you send from on high. Lord, look down from your holy dwelling. Breathe upon us even right now. Anoint this service and anoint this your servant. Anoint my tongue and my lips to speak the praise of God to the children of men. Bind every hindering spirit. Let the blood of Jesus cover us right now. Release signs, wounds, and miracles in this place. Be glorified today. Hallelujah. Let your word go forth as a mighty hammer that breaketh the rock into pieces. Anoint us with fresh oil for this task. God, the things that you do, we dare not take your credit, but all the praise, the glory, and the honor is thine and thine alone. Now let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Give the Lord another great hand of praise and glory. Dancing, that's good. But I'm talking about the work of going out into the highways and hedges and compelling people to come to God's house. The work of pulling down strongholds and those things that cause problems in your own life and in your household, your family. The work of witnessing. The work of every believer ought to win at least one soul to Christ every year. The work of showing the enemy that regardless to what you put me through, I still have my joy. With having a certain status, but Nehemiah, as cupbearer, nobody wanted his job. His job was secure. His job was secure. His job was secure. Maybe I need to get a few cupbearers. His job was secure because they, he was responsible for drinking the wine that could have been poison because there were so many people who did not like the king or may wanted to assassinate the king or may wanted to kill the king in a way that it would not be easily identifiable and so they would pour it from now every now and then somebody would spike the wine. Some of y'all know about spike drinks. Don't you? Come on, loose here, loose here. You know about spiking a drink. Every now and then the drink would be spiked. But it was spiked with poison. But it's no different than today because there's a lot of people that got sick and died because they smoked weed that was laced mm, with toxicity. People have always done things to hurt folks, to kill folks, to damage folks. You can't, you better not even go to a restaurant today and leave and go to the restroom if you're by yourself and leave and go to the restroom and drink the same drink when you come back. You don't know if anybody has put anything in your water. Now when I say drink, I'm talking to saints. Water, Pepsi products, Sprite, coffee, tea. Let's get it straight now. You don't want anybody to spike what you've left. My wife and I have practiced that down through the years. Now if we're sitting together, I don't worry. I come back and drink what's on the table and she'll come back, drink what's on. But if both of us had to leave for any reason, I tell me, bring me a fresh water. Bring me a brand new cup of coffee. Cause I don't know who have walked by.
I'm saying something to you. <laughs> Nehemiah was the cupbearer, a prominent position, but he had to put his own life at stake. Nehemiah is honored and favored by God, and when he hears that Jerusalem had been destroyed, Ezra, God used Ezra to rebuild the, the temple, but he used Nehemiah to rebuild the wall. And even though God would allow the enemy to come in and destroy his own, God would send people to rebuild what was destroyed. I don't ever want you to think that because something was taken away from you because something uh, seemed to fall apart in your hands as a saint, as a child of God, does not mean that God has abandoned, abandoned you. He's just getting ready, getting you ready for something bigger and better. When the Bible plainly states, the eyes, the eyes of the Lord are in some places. The eyes of the Lord are in every place. Hallelujah. There's nothing that you can do or will ever do that God will not see. When you're doing wrong, God sees it. When you're doing right, God sees it. When you're praising him in sincerity, God sees it. But when you're trying to get over on God, he sees it. The eyes of the Lord are in every place beholding the evil and the good. He sees everything we do and hears everything we say. Well, to have some godly fear to know that we cannot get away with anything. My, 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 my Lord. Did y'all enjoy the service? Did y'all enjoy the service? Oh, I so enjoyed the service, y'all. It's such a blessing to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. I so enjoyed the word on this Sunday. Praise the Lord. The pastor always hit a good message right on time babies right on time hallelujah thank you jesus so as a sister to another sister or to another brother if y'all have not got y'all self saved mm, it ain't too late it ain't too late babies it is not too late y'all go get y'all selves saved it don't matter what y'all have done in y'all life. The Lord loves you. Give me my purse, Jemaya. The Lord loves you. Y'all hear me? All he want is for y'all to draw y'all hearts to him, to open up your heart, and he shall receive you in the name of Jesus. God is so good, y'all. He is so good. And I just want to encourage somebody this morning that it's not too late. It's not too late to get yourselves saved. It's not too late, y'all. Even if y'all don't go to church, y'all can just worship at home. Y'all can praise him at home. Y'all can thank him at home. Just allow the Lord to use you. Allow the Lord to use you in whatever way that he want to use you. Just allow him, hallelujah, to use you in the name of Jesus. Because you know what? God has called all of us to do something on this earth. Y'all hear me? He has called all of us to do something on this earth. It does not matter what it is, babies. You have a gift. You have a gift. And all you have to do is seek him. Pray fast. And he shall allow y'all to understand and see what it is that he wants y'all to do. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
So today, I come to sound the alarm to bring all souls back to Christ because God, hallelujah, God is a keeper, y'all. He's a promise keeper. Thank you, Jesus. He's a way maker. Thank you, Jesus. He's sovereign and he reigns on the throne. And whatever that you're going through right now, whatever that you're going through right now, just know my heavenly father, he sees. He sees everything. Come on, baby. He sees everything. That there is nothing too hard for the Lord that he cannot fix. There is nothing too hard for the Lord, y'all, that he cannot fix. Hallelujah. Y'all probably have weeped. Y'all probably have went to the Lord on certain occasions in your lives and thought that God did not hear your cry. Baby, let me tell you something. It's plenty of times that I have cried. Plenty of times that I did not understand. Plenty of times that the devil wanted to kill me. That the devil wanted to take me up out of hell. But thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus, y'all. Hallelujah. He saved my soul. He snatched me out of the pit of hell into the marvelous light. Thank you, Jesus. And look at me today. Look at me today, y'all. I'm alive. I'm still here. I'm still breathing. Thank you, Jesus. God has saved me. Even when the devil desired to swift me as wheat, the Lord still saved me. Hallelujah. He saved me and he kept me. Even though the devil had me. He had me. But God snatched me up out of that thing. He snatched me up out of that thing, y'all. Ooh, when I tell y'all, mm, God is a just God. He's a right on time God. Mm. You best to believe there's nothing, nothing that the Lord cannot fix, nothing that he cannot solve, and nothing that he cannot do. There is nothing too hard for him. Nothing too hard for him. Just like the pastor said, the Lord is in every place. His eyes are in every place he sees everything that there is nothing that you can do in this life that the Lord does not see he sees everything everything so I am just here to encourage somebody to get yourself saved hallelujah that it is not too late that it is not too late after all that I have been through in my life mm, I gotta give him praise I gotta thank him. I got to thank him every chance I get. I got to worship him, y'all. Hallelujah. Because like I said, I'm not supposed to be here today. I am not supposed to be here today. But glory be to God. Mm, I'm still standing. I still got my limbs. I'm still in my right mind. Praise the Lord. God is good. Y'all hear me? He is good. And no matter what y'all going through, like I said, it does not matter. Hallelujah. There is nothing in this world that is too hard that the Lord cannot fix. Go to him. Seek his face. Hallelujah. Give your life over to the Lord if you hadn't already. Give your life to the Lord, y'all. Because the world that we living in now, babies, we can be here today and gone tomorrow. So give your life over to the Lord and watch how he does miracles in your life. He allow you to see signs and wonders. He is the great I am. Hallelujah. He is the Lord of Lord, the King of Kings. God is so, so good. He's sweeter than a honeycomb. He's marvelous. Everything about God is perfect. He's amazing in all his ways. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's excellent in all his ways. Thank you, Jesus. I give him the glory. I give him the praise. I give him the honor. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Mm, God, but I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You've been so good. You've been so merciful. You've been so kind. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my heavenly Father. I want y'all to understand that God, that's all you need. That's all you need is your heavenly father. That's all that you need, babies. That's all that you need. 
His arms are open wide for you. Yes, his arms are open wide for you. He just waiting. He just waiting for you to just come on. <laughs> he waiting for you to come on. Just give him all that you have. Come with your burdens. Come with your pain. Come with your sickness. Come with your can't paying your bills. Come with you if you ain't got no job. Just take it all to the Lord. Take it to the Lord, baby. If your kids ain't acting right, take it to the Lord. He got your back. If you can't see your way, take it to the Lord. He got your back. Hallelujah. If you're lost in your sin, take it to the Lord. He got your back. Because he had my back. And if he had my back, guess what? I know he's going to have your back. <laughs> I know he's going to have your back, baby. He does not have no respectable person, but God loves everybody. He loves everybody. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So I just wanted to encourage somebody this Sunday that it's not too late. It's not too late. Give your life over to the Lord and watch how he just gives you all the desires of your heart. Live an uprighteous life and live by his commandments y'all and everything God has for you you will begin to just start seeing things in the spirit that no one no one have ever seen and you will be so surprised and be thinking like oof is this what the Lord has for me? Eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, I'm a living witness. I'm a living witness, babies. And I'm not gonna tell y'all nothing that I have not already been through. Y'all hear me? Mm. Once y'all give y'all lives over to the Lord, seek his face and know that he is God. Hallelujah. Know that he is God, our Christ and Savior. Mm. Watch how he worked things out in your life. Just watch. Mm -hmm. All I can do is smile sometimes, y'all. Because the Lord has brought me this far. He has brought me this far. Thank you, Jesus. And I give God every bit of the glory because I did not give up on myself. I didn't give up on my children, y'all. I didn't give up on my family. Hallelujah. That I am still here praying for them. I'm still here protecting them and covering them as the generational curse breaker. Hallelujah. That the devil can't have nothing over here. The devil is defeated and he is a liar. He shall and he will not take my seat of authority y'all hear me that i'm taking back everything that he stole hallelujah no matter what the enemy tries to do to you just know that god has more power more power in his hands that whatever that this devil thinks <laughs> that he can control over your life baby you better rebuke that thing in the name of jesus and toss it back in a pit of hell where it belongs with no return. You hear me? You hear me? You gotta speak over your life and decree and declare things over your life that the tongue is a powerful weapon and you have to use it. You have to speak over your children, over your family, over your spouses and let that devil know that you ain't taking nothing over here. You don't belong here find somebody else to devour but this place right here this place is covered in the name of Jesus hallelujah thank you God and that's all y'all got to do take your seat of authority and let the enemy know and guess what <laughs> you think he ain't gonna flee call on the name of Jesus oh he gonna flee he gonna flee because he hates 
for anybody to clap their hands. He hate for anybody to stomp their feet. He hate for anybody to worship and praise the Lord and to call upon the name of Jesus. You hear what I'm saying, sisters and brothers? He hate that. So whenever you're going through a storm in your life, whenever you can't see your way, whenever things are just too much, but I know that God won't put nothing on you that you cannot bear. So even when things seem like they're too much in your life, Maybe you better take your seat of authority. You better speak and speak loud and clear and let that devil know you are defeated. You are rebuked. You are canceled. You are denounced in the name of Jesus. And I throw you back in a pit of hell. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. And you think I don't do it? Baby, I got to do it every day, every single day. Because every time I get up out of my bed, <laughs> it makes the devil mad. You hear me? Every time I worship and sing my songs, it makes the devil mad. You hear me? Every time I get up and praise him and pray and seek the Lord's face, it makes the devil mad. You hear me? Because he's probably sitting up shaking his head like, mm. I thought I did something. No, devil, you ain't did nothing here. Because I'm still going to praise it in my house. I'm still going to ask the Lord to fill the room with his anointing. Fill every room in my house with, with his glory. Fill every room in my house with his love, with his peace. Hallelujah. And you think the Lord ain't going to come through for me? Oh, that devil going to flee, baby. That devil is going to flee. Because <laughs> the Lord got all power in his hands. The Lord has all power in his hands. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And the curses are broken. The poverty is broken in the name of Jesus. The bondage is broken in the name of Jesus. The chains are falling off right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I decree and declare right now over y'all's family. Hallelujah. That there is no bondages. That there is no chains. Hallelujah. That poverty is destroyed right now over your family bloodline in the name of Jesus. Sickness and disease is destroyed right now over your families, over your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus, that we shall live and not die, that our latter shall be greater than our former. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And I give him praise. I give him praise right now in the mighty name of Jesus that he is going to come through for us. That he is going to do exactly what he said he's going to do. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. He's a healer. Thank you, Jesus. If you're sick in your body, he shall heal you in the name of Jesus. You got to trust and believe. Trust and believe. If you're sick in your body, he's going to definitely heal you in the name of Jesus. You got to trust him and you got to believe him in the name of Jesus. You got to trust him and you got to believe that you are healed in the name of Jesus. That by his stripes, hallelujah, you are healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Mm, God is so good. Thank you, Jesus, for using me. Thank you, God, for using me to speak to your people. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Mm. Glory be to God. So I encourage my sister and my brother today to go get yourself saved. Please go get yourself saved, baby. And I'm talking to those that are not already saved, okay? If you're already saved, live an uprighteous life. Live an uprighteous life. Live by his commandments, y'all. And I must tell you, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. God, he's going to come through for you. Mm, he's going to come through for you. God can do the impossible. You hear me? He can do the impossible. God can do all things. All things. Things that you could not do for yourself. Hallelujah. Things that you just thought that was not going to happen in your life. God can do it. God can do it. And when I tell you when he do it, he's right on time. He is right on time. Thank you, Jesus. He's right on time, y'all. 
Ooh, I'm a living witness. I'm so happy. Girl, I'm so happy. I'm just smiling. Because I know the Lord got great things in store for me. I am just smiling, y'all. Thank you, Jesus, that I don't look like half of what I've been through. But I thank God I still carry a smile. I still carry a smile. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. You are so good to me. You are so good to me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. Y'all, the Lord is so amazing. His presence is just beautiful. It's just so beautiful to be in the presence of the Lord. I thank God, I thank God, I thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, praise God. I just wanted to encourage y'all. I just wanted to love on y'all and encourage y'all and just allow y'all to understand and know that God, that is all you need. That is all you need. That you cannot put nothing before him. Not your children, not your husband, not your wife. You can't put nothing before him. That he is all that you need. All that you need. Even if you are married. God still is first. God still is first. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord. Mm. Mm -hmm. God is so good. He is so good y'all. I am on my way to the house y'all. I love y'all. And uh, I guess I'm going to see y'all as soon as I get in the house. Because I wanted to share with y'all my comforter that my mother got for me. But I'm going to have to make them a bed first, child, okay? <laughs> I'm going to have to make my bed up. And um, and that's probably going to be it, child. Because I ain't doing nothing else today. I don't think I'm doing nothing else. I think I'm going to go and... Uh, well, no, I ain't going to do that. Mm -mm, I ain't going to do that today. I know I got to get my grass cut, child. I'm going to have to get my grass cut. Let me get on. If I'm going to have to get my grass cut, I'm going to go this way because I'm going to have to go down here real quick. And um, I'm going to have to go down here to this teller right quick because I'm going to have to get my grass cut. My, my back yard, my front yard, y'all, it looks ridiculous. <laughs> it looks ridiculous, babies. But yeah, I'm going to see y'all once I get to the house. Okay? Sweet home, my babes. So I've been here for a minute, y'all. Um, I just had to, you know, get my bed situated and stuff like that so y'all can see my comforter right quick. And then I had to go down there and, and uh, get this man to cut my grass, y'all. <laughs> so my grass can be cut, child. It's just a hot mess, child. It's just a hot mess. Sorry for the darkness, by the way. Let me show y'all my comforter right quick that my mama got for me. So this is my comforter. My bed probably not made up like right right now but i try to put my pillows on here let me see if i can fix my pillows y'all but i'm loving this comforter though this is just like real pretty y'all i love the white i love the white let me see if i can fix these pillows right quick i don't know <laughs> But yes, this is my comforter. Isn't it cute? I like this, y'all. I like this. This is real cute right here. Anything that's white, y'all, y'all know I love because that's my favorite color anyway. But yeah, so this toss pillow right here, y'all, did not come with this comforter. It actually came with my other comforter set. But since it goes with everything, I just left this pillow on the bed, okay? But this pillow right here actually came with this comforter set. And I just left this one, you know, on here as well because it just matches with everything. But anyways, yes, I love my white, y'all. I love my white girl. And I think this this is real cute right here. And this is a real thick. When I tell y'all this is a real thick, like soft plush comforter, it feels so good and it's just so cozy. <laughs> It feels good and it's cozy and I absolutely love it. I so love it. Let me show y'all what I bought it at the grocery store. Actually, I got this from Lit Junior, y'all. This is so good. It's like some chicken, some chicken stir fry. It's real, real good. I had two of them, but I had already made one. And I added me some extra 
like broccoli and stuff to it and it was so good i actually made it myself because i didn't use the sauce that it came with i made my own little teriyaki like flavor sauce because i have the teriyaki sauce in my cabinet and i have like some i have some um what is this some oyster flavored sauce this type of stuff right here goes up to like stir fries and stuff like that y'all to you know season it real good to make it have some sort of like asian flavor or you know chinese flavor teriyaki flavor dish so yeah but it was pretty good though it was real good <sighs> but anyways my babes i'm gonna get ready to get off of here I'm gonna have to clean off my desk because I got so much stuff that's sitting on my desk right now, y'all. I'm gonna have to clean some stuff up. And um, I'm gonna get ready and have church all over again because I have to tune in to Pastor Hannah's Live. <laughs> and then sometimes, y'all, I tune in to Smokey Norfolk Live as well because he has his own church service as well. And when I ran across one of his church services, I said, Smokey Norfolk? what girl i had to tune in so i've been watching smoking norfolk for a while as well so i be literally watching a lot of um uh preachers and stuff y'all but not too many because you can't just really feed off everybody you have to like you know feed off of your pastor you know get the word from your pastor but it is okay to tune in to other people's services and stuff like that but my main three people i'm gonna say three <laughs> that i watch would be my pastor if i don't go to church but y'all know i'm always going to church um I'll tune in to Pastor Hannah and I'll tune in to Sarah, Sarah Jakes, because I watch her and Smokey North for y'all. So, yes, they have been blessing my soul with their services. Y'all hear me? I tune in and I get a word from them and it actually teaches, you know, me more about um certain scriptures in the Bible whenever they're preaching certain things. And what I can say about Smokey Norful, he's a good teacher. He's a very good teacher. Once you tune in to his service and you open up your Bible and you follow along with him, you will literally understand where he is coming from because the way that he teaches. And I like listening to him because he breaks things down to where you will be able to understand the word instead of just speaking the word. You're saying like a little brief message and then it's over with. But Smokey Norfolk, he really breaks things down. Just like my pastor, he he really breaks things down and allow you to understand the word and what, you know, what scripture and, and, and what's going on in the word. You know how when you read and you may not understand certain words and stuff and you may not understand what's going on in that particular scripture, but they can look back over their lives and put it in the scripture and make it become a reality if you understand what I'm saying like you can use scriptures in the Bible as if when you're teaching something and then you can go back and look over your life and add what you have experienced into that scripture and it'll make it be more uh, um, it'll be more like understanding I'm gonna say that to some that may not understand just by just reading the Bible but when you put your own self in a situation you know you'll be able to understand a little more so that's the reason why i like watching Smokey nor for y'all i love to tune in to his service and he's very anointed just like pastor hannah two anointed men in christ and i love watching them i so love watching them and my pastor y'all know my pastor mm, he be cutting up on this stage, baby. He be cutting up on this stage. He's always sending a good word. He's always feeding his saints with good teaching. And that's the reason why I joined the church because I get fed there, y'all. And I've been going there for so many years, baby. I'm so thankful that the Lord has sent me there to receive the word and to understand scripture. Even though I stay in my Bible, <laughs> I try to get understanding. And when I read the word, y'all, if I got to go over something, I will literally go over it over and over and over and over again until I get it or until I understand. And even if I don't understand, I will have to go to my 
my prayer closet and I will have to ask the Lord. He's going to have to show me. He's going to have to help me. He's going to have to give me that understanding to where I can understand <laughs> from my mind. I have to understand myself because I have to show myself approved. Hallelujah. In this Bible, in the things that I am reading and even some of the things that I speak to y'all, you know, I have to understand the word first before I can relay a message to y'all. But anyways, babies, I'm finna get ready to get off of here. I love y'all. I'm finna get ready, like I said, to have church service all over again here in my home. And um, yes, y'all, that's it, child. That's it. So I guess I'm going to see y'all back on another whole day. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed. And remember what the pastor said. <laughs> Do the work, babies. Do the work. If you can get somebody else saved, speak of the goodness of the Lord save a soul today in the name of jesus hallelujah just get up and do the work get up and do the work y'all and like i said god have called us to do something on this earth he have called many of us to do something on this earth and if you already know your purpose if you already know your calling dig in it dig deep in it and help somebody else to get saved amen i love y'all y'all be blessed